When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Absolutely, unequivocally, yes, is the answer. Now, here is the host of The Long Bearded Guy, the Chief Catalyst, Strategist Guide at Jewel International, Gordon D. Melville. Good afternoon, my friends. Thank you for joining me today for the seductive myth of doing. This is The Long Bearded Guy. That's Gordon D. Melville, which is me on Inspired Choices Network. I just want to quickly read it off the top. I want to thank people. I've read, well, 1,300 people have reached out to me in one way or another, likes and loves and comments and shares and whatnot. I really, really, really appreciate that. I want that to continue. Um, I want people to be able to reach out. Um, the long bearded guy at gmail.com is the easiest way to get a hold of me. And I just want to, I want to thank uh, the people that have reached out. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that engagement. So let's get after it. Society as a whole has generated many myths around the importance or lack thereof about what doing means. Attention to who we are, who we are being, has waned and dis been discounted over time. We've bought in hook, line, and sinker to many of the myths and motion, notions that have been drilled into us so often. We have almost completely lost sight of who we are being. Have you bought into the myth of doing? How can we break out of that myth of doing that has distracted and sidelined so many incredible folks? The myth of doing has burned out so many people in so many areas of their lives to a point where a lot of people just give up. The myth of doing must be exposed. And that's what we're going to talk about today is the myth of doing. The seductive myth of doing. Why is it seductive? Because it's it, we don't even notice it's there. We, we get sucked into this vortex of, of doing and doing and doing and doing and doing and doing and doing. We don't typically pay attention to who we're being. And I think that's part of the big reason that COVID was such a huge thing and is such a huge thing in terms of mental awareness, mental health, mental illness, because we had to realize who we were being. And a lot of people didn't want to look at that. So I'm really, really, I, well, that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to get into it. And this is another topic that um, quite frankly, we could do a whole series on, we could talk lots and lots and lots about this. So to squish it into a, just under an hour is going to be a challenge, but we're going to do the best we can. I'm really excited that Inspired Choices Network and the Long Bearded Guy are now carried on more than 450 platforms globally, all the places you would normally look. So to check us out on Roku and iHeartRadio and binge distribution and all these uh, um, Amazon Fire, all these places that, are, that you would look for your stuff. Look for us there to uh, ICN, Inspired Choices Network is a free download. Uh, please, please do that. Like this video, share this video, love this video, like it, share it. Please, please spread it out. That's how we get the, a bigger exposure and a bigger distribution. So we will we'll look forward to that and watch very soon for the Long Bearded Guy Facebook group to build community. We want to make sure we do that. All right. Another quick thing here. So my segment number one is quotes and origins. Where does the word be and do, where does that come from? And when we talk about be and do, what's the big deal? So this was a quote. We have a tendency to think in terms of doing and not in terms of being. We think that when we are not doing anything, we are wasting our time. But that's just not true. Our time is, first of all, for us to be to be what? To be alive, to be peaceful, to be joyful, to be loving. And that is what the world needs most. That's a deep one. Uh, Eckhart Tolle said, doing is never enough if you neglect being. Doing is never enough if you neglect being. That's Eckhart Tolle. Eric Hoffer said, men weary as much of not doing the things they want to do as of doing the things they do not want to do. Again, that's a, there's a deep piece into that. Men weary as much of not doing the things they want to do as of doing things they do not want to do. Ogmandino, one of my mentors, he said, I am not a human being. I am a human becoming. I love that. 
Who are we being? Who are we becoming? And then one by a guy named Gordon D. Melville says, there is much clarity in what next steps need to be executed on once I understand, accept, and believe who I am supposed to be. Again, there is much clarity in what next steps there are to execute on once I understand, accept, and believe who I am supposed to be. I want those to sink in because that's a, those are huge, huge, huge pieces of this equation. What the definitions of who we're being, and I want to focus on that today. Who are we being? Not what are we doing? You know, I'm, a, I'm an insurance guy. I do. I'm a coach. I'm a financial world. I'm a mechanic. I'm a, I work for the city. I'm a police officer. I'm a firefighter. I'm a, that's what we do. That's not who we are. Now, sometimes people are, you know, I, you hear people talk about, well, you know, that, that person was a born firefighter, that they're just that hero type. Okay, I'm in. I, 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 no, no, no fight on that whatsoever. If that's who they're being, they're living their purpose. They're living who they were intended to be. And then what they're doing is an outcropping of who they're being. I hope that makes sense. What we do should be an outcrop or an, an outsource of who we're being. That's why they say, you know what, you, you need to find your why. You need to find your definite major purpose. Because if you're not doing something that you get up in the morning and go, yeah, I get to, I get to go and do this today. I get to, not I have to then you're, you're probably not living your purpose. Something that lights up your soul. Something that is something that really, really you're passionate about. People go, I can't find a way to get paid to do that. Yeah, there are ways to do that. And if you can't find something that somebody else has created, then create it for yourself. Find ways to create it for yourself. I want to talk just real quick. We want to touch on uh, what, what are the, the uh, definitions right, of be and do. Um, both are Old English, but interestingly enough, we use the word do in a lot of different ways. Um, do, to do, doing, done, the activities which a person engages. It's obviously not who they are. An effort or an activity, perform or achieve, to work on something, work for a living, to attend to someone, to attend to somebody. So that hairdresser is going to do me next do right the act or behave in a certain way be suitable or acceptable if he's anything like you he'll do interesting use of the word do the act of indo-european root shared by the greek tithemi i place the latin fecker make do make or do Make or do, not be, make or do. I find that very, very interesting. So if I, that's on do. What's the definition of be? To exist, the nature or essence of a person. To be or not to be is a great question. To be or not to be. Shakespeare. Unless Stallone's doing it, and then it's to be or what? <laughs> anyway, to be or not to be. Um, to, in, to occur, the fair will be in September. Will be in September. Again, origins is Old English. Beyond, uh, B-E-O-N, uh, am and is. The English wa was, were, be, been, and are. Several verb meanings of be or to be. I find it very interesting. The forms of be and been, B-E-E-N, are from an Indo-European root shared by uh, Latin, fui, I was, phio, I become, and Greek, funin, bring forth or cause to grow. Wow. 
bring forth and cause to grow. Interesting. Are we bringing forth and causing to grow? What are we causing to grow? What are we being? Who are we being? Interesting, interesting thought process in terms of where focus goes, because where focus goes, energy flows. That's a Darren Hardy, where focus goes, energy flows. So if I'm focused on doing, 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 do, I'm busy doing, maybe something I don't even want to be doing. But if I'm busy doing, I'm not focused on being. Jim Rohn used to say, you should work as hard or harder on yourself than you do on anything else. If I'm working on me, I'm working on who I'm being, not on what I'm doing. And I want to make that distinction over and over and over today. I want us to focus where and who are we being and are we being who we want to be? Are we being the best versions of ourselves? Are we being who we were meant to be. Because I think a lot of us, some of the frustration with people on the planet at the moment is that they're not being who they want to be. They're not being who they were meant to be. And that causes a dichotomy in, inside of us that goes, okay, well, if this is who I'm supposed to be, why am I not doing that? And we get we get busy doing things that we don't want to do. And now we don't have time to focus on who and who we're becoming. Those are big. When, when we sit down and we do it all the time, we sit down with new people and we're like, Hey, uh, how are you? Um, what do you do? Right. That's a normal quiet. What do you do? Uh, you know, or do you have family? Do you have children? Do you have like, what do you do? And we ask that it's just in society, it's polite to ask, hey, what do you do? The challenge is a lot of people build their identity into what they do, especially men. We, we build into who we are. It's built into who we are, right? I'm a, I'm a car guy or I'm an insurance guy. I'm, a, I'm an investment guy. That, that, that's not who you are. That's just what you do. And if you're not doing something that is an extension of who you want to be, it gets frustrating. And then, and you know, we, we look at it and go, you know what, I'm burned out. Why? Because I, I've been trying so hard for so long in something that keeps me busy for sure, pays the bills maybe, but doesn't light up my soul. And, and we've lost sight of, you know, we, we, it's almost a badge of honor. I, I'm so busy. I've got all this stuff going on. I'm so busy. I'm so busy. Are you busy on things you want to be? Are you busy doing things that you wish you could do? Are you doing things that are an extension of who you want to be, that are growing who you want to be or growing you into your becoming? Interesting questions. And I want, I want as we go into this break, I want to do a quick thing. We're, we're through the break pay attention. We're going to stop uh, Austin uh, Haynes, one of my, one of my sponsors, one of my founding sponsors, but one of my really dear friends and brothers talks about pause and breathe, pause and breathe. We need to pause and breathe, take it in process, slow ourselves down, pause and breathe. As we go into this break, I want you to pause and breathe. And I'm going to do the same thing. You're with the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville on the Inspired Choices Network. See you on the other side. How much of our daily success relies on our mindset? Anything we are unaware of can still impact our lives. When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Why is the word stigma such a BS misnomer? Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Join the long-bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville, 
The Chief Catalyst Strategist Guide at Jewel International invites you to an enlightening, sometimes shocking discussion. He will be challenging you to explore your own answers to these questions and so many more. This will lead you towards living an abundant, successful life no matter how you define it. Gordon D. Melville is live Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspire Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspire Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is the Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to the Long Bearded Guy at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Hey, everybody. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for sticking with me. It's great to see Mrs. Kirkpatrick. She's one of my founding sponsor members, uh, partners. And, and you know what? Thank you so much for being here today, Mrs. Kirkpatrick. I really appreciate you being here. Um, great, to, great to see you. All right. So, so the next segment we want to talk about is the myths. So it's a seductive myth because we don't normally see it. It's not something, it sneaks up on us a little bit. And sometimes it woos us in because it sounds right. It sounds like what's supposed to be happening. It sounds like what everybody else is doing. And, and that's just not the case. It shouldn't be that way. But that's the myth. That's why it's a myth. We get sucked into doing and doing and doing and not being. But are we being authentic to our true self? Or are we trying to live up to somebody's other, some other person's expectation of who they believe we are or who they believe we should be? A lot of people, I believe, are trying to live up to somebody else's expectation. And whether that's society, whether that's parents, whether that's um, a, a group of people, whether that's whatever it is, who, wherever that expectation comes from, it comes from movies or TV or magazines or books or whatever the expectation is. We're not all the same. And there's bits and pieces of us that because we're different human beings. Now, that being said, I believe it's all energy. Everything is energy, quantum, right? Everything is energy. That means we're all connected, but we're each individual. So we're individual beings. Each of us have a different purpose. Each of us are here for a different reason. Each of us have our own schedule of activities that we need to do and who we need to become. But sometimes our focus on doing distracts us. I'm trying to do and live up to an expectation of somebody else. My parents thought I should be a doctor or a lawyer. Or what, what, this is the family business. You know, Everybody in my family has been a police officer. So I go into police. Do I really want to do that? No, but you know what? There's so much pressure in the family to, to go into the family business. I don't, I don't do anything else. I don't do what I want, what I want to do. And that's sad because it's holding us back. It's, it's, it's pressure on us to, to live something that's not who we are. It's not who we be. If that's bath grammar, I know, but if, if that makes sense, it's not who we want to become. It just isn't. And that frustrates us. And then we don't do the job as well either because it's not what we want to be doing. It wears us out. Why? Because it doesn't feed our soul. It doesn't feed our, our heart. It doesn't feed us the same way because it's not what we want to do. It's not what, it's not what are fulfilling our purpose. 
it's not who we want to become. It's not in alignment with who we want to be. Being authentic to who we are. Sometimes we look at it and go, well, if I'm, if I, if I'm not this, if I'm not doing this, people won't like me. Or, or I won't be accepted. Or, or I'll be pecked on. Or I'll be bullied. Or if I'm not doing this, if I'm not doing that, I, I won't be accepted. And for us to come to a place that says, you know what? I'm going to be unapologetically, unabashedly me. And if people like that, great. If they don't like that, great. Doesn't matter. I find it very interesting. As I've gotten older, I care less and less and less. I never really give, give a crap about what people thought of me. Uh, I, I wear, I've always worn cowboy boots with my suit, which again is not a stylish thing if in, in terms of what the current styles are, but it's how I feel comfortable. I wear shorts right through the winter, sandals right through the winter. I wear, I'm, I'm in, a, I'm in a, a dress shirt, sport shirt and a sport coat. I'll, I'll wear shorts with that. At Mo Mondays, I would have shorts and sandals on with my jacket, which again is a weird look. It, it, now, ACDC, there's a little bit of, of uh, um, <laughs> there's correlation there with a jacket and a vest with shorts. But, but, uh, but the point is, it, it's, that's how I'm comfortable. I'm not living up to anybody else's expectation. The beard, the, the hair, the shaved off, with, that, that's, I like it. I don't care if anybody else likes it. It, it doesn't matter to me if anybody else likes it. I remember uh, uh, somebody that a uh, relative of mine came up to me when I first shaved my head several years ago and, and she held my face in her hands and she goes, I hate your hair. And I'm like, well, good thing I didn't do it for you. Then I did it for me because that's what I like. That's what I want. I'm being me. I conformed for most of my life, whether I was in the car business, financial world, where I, I, I conformed because that's what the people around me said I had to do to be accepted in that space. And to be taken seriously in those spaces. And eventually I was like, you know what? I don't want to do it anymore. Now I'm my own boss. Now I work for myself. as uh, I'm an entrepreneur. I, I, I run my own business. I run my own stuff. I don't have to live up to anybody else's expectation of who I am. I can look how I want. I can be who I want to be. Who I believe is in alignment with who I am. And, and if you're not doing that, please, please, I would implore you, people's opinion doesn't matter. It really doesn't. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Papa says we have infinite value for no other reason than we are. Not what we're thinking, not what, we've, we're, not what we're doing, not what we've done, not what our bank account is, not where we live or what our home is or what we drive or who we know or what our title is. None of that stuff matters. We have infinite value because we are. Which is freeing because it means, you know what? I can be who I'm supposed to be. I can be and become what I want to. I can fulfill my vision by having a definite major purpose that's laid out and crystal and written down so that I know what that is. And then I have goals to get to the, the point is that allows me to be my vision, be my vision. I can get to that place by being in alignment with who I am much easier, way, way, way easier. I have to be willing to sacrifice who I am today to become who I was meant to be tomorrow. And I know I've said that before, but it bears repeating. I need to sacrifice who I am today and all the different things I was, uh, that I've achieved up till now. It doesn't mean that stuff goes away. It doesn't mean I don't use that stuff for, for marketing. And, and I use that stuff when I'm coaching because that's all built into who I am. But I need to be willing to sacrifice who I am and who I think I am to become who I was meant to be, who I am, who I am meant to be tomorrow. 
And once we do that, if life becomes easier, it becomes less stressful, less anxiety, or does it mean it's easy? And no, 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 no. But way, 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 that angst inside ourselves, that, that battle that's going on about this is what I'm doing, but that's not who I want to be. That's not heading me in a direction I want to go. And, and, and we get stuck in that space and we get into a rut and we start to just sort of, yep, it's, 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 it's something that we do day after day after day after day after day. Oh, it's Monday. Well, oh, it's Wednesday. It's hump day. Yep. I had a couple more days until the weekend. I heard somebody recently say weekend. W-E-A-K. Week end. Why? Because we relax on the weekend. Because we slow down. We don't hold that intensity in ourselves. You don't have to worry about what the weekend is. Everybody lives for the weekend. Got to be for the weekend. Got to get to the weekend. We live to the weekend. If you're being and becoming who you want to be and become, the days of the week don't matter anymore because you're going to want to become every day. Does that mean we don't do any self-care? I'm a walking, talking billboard for what happens when you don't do self-care. So no, I'm not saying don't do self-care. I'm saying build self-care in. But being and becoming who you're supposed to be is way less stressful. It's way less energy because it just flows from your soul. It's not something that you have to really focus and, and drill into yourself and, and something that you put on and, oh, man, I, I, I can't wait for the weekend. I can't wait for vacation. We need to build ourselves lives that we don't have to have to. Doesn't mean we don't do it, but build a life that we don't need a vacation from. Why? Because it's feeding our soul. It's, it's connecting with us. What we're being every day is feeding us. I challenge you to try and do that. Try and, and figure out who you want to be and, and stick around for the fourth segment because we're gonna, I'm going to give you a call to action that I think may be helpful to you. Uh, it was very helpful to me, but uh, I'm hoping that it's really, really a helpful thing for you because once we stop trying to live up to somebody else's expectation of what we're supposed to be or do, usually it's do, not be. Life gets easier. Life is less stressful, less anxiety. Once you sit back and go, no, I'm going to be who I'm supposed to be. I'm going to become who I was meant to be. There's a peace that comes. And, and I think that's something we're all kind of looking for. I think a lot of people are desperate to find peace, especially in a world that's in turmoil and and rocking all over the place and foundations are being shifted and and rocked all over if we have our own peace that comes from inside of ourselves because we're becoming who we were meant to be we're choosing you know i'm a big choice guy we're choosing to become who we were meant to be and that's very powerful life giving energy giving not energy sapping. We're going to talk some more about that in the next segment, but I want to do a quick shout out to two of my founding sponsor partners. The first one is Jose Escobar. Love him. He just got certified for John Maxwell and part of that team now. Congratulations, brother. Um, that's awesome. And will make you an even more powerful human being. But check out the Entrepreneur's Bookshelf to learn more about the morning and evening routine mastery program that's changing people's lives. Incredible program. If you're not doing something that's a routine, that's a habit, at the end of the bookends, morning to set off your day, and at the end of your day to, to pull it all together, wrap it all up, and going into sleep, planning the next day making sure that that's done. If you're not doing that, you, you need to talk to him. This program will help you install systems on the bookends of your day to maximize your morning and evening routine. Set up a free strategy session with Jose Escobar today, and you can reach him at www.theentrepreneursbookshelf.com. And the second shout out is to my friend, Kathleen. 
Kat, we call her Cat. She calls herself Cat. Schwartz is the owner and founder at Compassionate Healing Services. Really looking forward, and I heard rumblings that's, that's coming. Uh, looking forward to the release of another new podcast she has called Trauma Redefined with Cat and Joe. These two, uh, two heart centric folks are friends who share the experience of being complex trauma survivors who will provide a fresh take on how to tackle some of society's most difficult challenges in the mental health space, like suicide prevention, bullying, and so much more. It'll air on the Mental Health News Network in the fall of 2022. So anytime it's coming, we'll watch for that. And you can reach out to her, to Kathleen at Kathleen at chsyoga.com. Thank you so much to my, to my founding sponsors, uh, partners. I appreciate them so much. I can't do this without them. So thank you, thank you, thank you to them all. And we're going to take another quick break. You're with the long bearded guy. That's Gordon D. Melville on Inspired Choices Network. How much of our daily success relies on our mindset? Anything we are unaware of can still impact our lives. When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Why is the word stigma such a BS misnomer? Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Join the long-bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville, the Chief Catalyst Strategist Guide at Jewel International invites you to an enlightening, sometimes shocking discussion. He will be challenging you to explore your own answers to these questions and so many more. This will lead you towards living an abundant, successful life no matter how you define it. Gordon D. Melville is live Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is the Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to the long bearded guy at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. And this segment, we want to talk about the challenge. So I want to give you a challenge. We're going to talk about call to action in the next segment. But in this segment, we want to talk about a challenge. So I'm going to challenge you a little bit. By the way, let's stop for a second. Pause and breathe. Pause and breathe. To center and to calm ourselves, but to energize our, our, our body, to energize our mind and our, and our organs, holding that, that energy and, and that oxygen inside ourselves that we need so much, right? So the challenge is this, who are you becoming? Who do you want to become? Why do you want to become that? And it's, I think it's a deeper question than, it's not just a quick boom answer. I think it, it, it's a thought-provoking thing. Who am I wanting to be? Who am I really? Real, like gut check, honest, not for anybody else, just for you. We put on a persona sometimes with, with, that people see when we're talking to people, when we present ourselves. I'm on TV, I'm on radio, I'm on podcast. I'm, I'm presenting myself a certain way. Is it really who I am? Uh, I'll tell you it is. If you're talking to my wife or my kids, they'll tell you, yep, that's who he is. They hear the stuff all the time. So that, that is who I am. But the, the point is, who are you wanting to be? Do you know even? We all know what you do, and, and, and I don't know what you do, but, to, but you know what you do. But that's not what I want to, that's not what I want you to focus on. 
I want you to focus on, and, and like I said, gut check, I think that's part of the, was part of the challenge with COVID, right? We were doing and doing and doing and doing and doing and busy, 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 and everything, all of a sudden, everything stopped. No distractions. I can't hang out with my friends. I'm not going to work. I'm working from home or I'm not working at all because they just couldn't do it. All of a sudden, I'm stuck where? With me. Looking in a mirror going, who am I? Who am I being? Who am I becoming? I thought at 54 years old, maybe I thought I was going to be farther along than this. This isn't what I wanted to do with my life. This isn't where I thought I was going to be. And, and it caused angst and it caused stress. And people were like, well, I need a distraction. Now they start to binge watch Netflix. And there's nothing wrong with watching Netflix. There's some great shows on Netflix. But when that becomes what we're doing because we have a dearth of who we're being, that's a problem. It becomes a challenge. It becomes something that we're battling with. If we don't know really, truly who we are, that's going to be, it's going to cause us a challenge. And the earlier we can figure that out in our life, the easier our life will be. The more straightforward things will be. Once I can step into my own empowerment and understand that, you know what? I can be whoever I want to be. I, I have a purpose. My mission is to have a meaningful connection through organizations and networks and whatnot with more than 10 million men globally in the next 24 months with a message of hope that says there are positive ways to deal with the emotions, stress, anxiety, depression, all the things we feel every day. All of us do. We all feel that every day. I want to have a meaningful connection with these guys. Let them know there's positive ways to deal with that so that we don't end up having vices. We don't end up drinking and gambling and, 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 whatever it is and 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 even in a deeper phase that we deep get into deep depression because if we don't deal with stuff and it's a light side we are going to end up on the other end of that spectrum we are going to end up on the deep depression and suicide and that's what's happening people are looking at themselves in the mirror and going i am not becoming who i feel i was meant to be and they get depressed and because there's judgment and shame and embarrassment around asking for help. One quick thing on asking for help, by the way, asking for help is a sign of strength, not a sign of weakness. I'm going to say that again. Asking for help is not a sign of weakness. It's a sign of strength. Why? Because you're admitting, you know what? I can't do this on my own. We are not islands. We need each other. You want to be successful, you could do that on your own. You want to be wildly successful, you need a team. You need a group. You need a purpose bigger than yourself. You getting rich or you being successful does not inspire other people. But touching the world, that inspires other people. Helping other people on a grander scale, whether it's a not-for-profit, whether it's a charity of some kind, that's something that inspires people because it touches their heart and their soul. If we were all being and becoming who we were meant to be, I think it would be a much, much different world. It would be a way more positive, way more. We would be so much farther ahead if we could all be who we were supposed to be. If we could understand, I need, I need help. I need to ask for help. Why? Because I can't get it done on my own. Even with, even with, my, even with my podcast, TV show, and, and radio show. I can't do this without Kim. I love her. My, my producer, incredible. I can't do this without her. And Christine, if she didn't have the station, I, I couldn't, the network, I couldn't do it. If I didn't have my founding sponsor partners, I couldn't do it. It takes a team of people and you have to be strong enough to go, Hey, I can't get this done on my own. I need help. And these people around me, a team of people around me are here to help. I do my superpower. That's connecting with people. That's putting a message out there. 
I'll do my superpower. Kim does hers by helping produce. Christine does hers by having the network and having wild amounts of experience in this industry. And it makes us all look better. It makes us all more efficient and effective. I'll do what I do. I'll become, I'll be who I'm supposed to be. I'll stay in my lane and do my thing. And my team around me are empowered and are being who they are meant to be and who they're becoming. And together, team, right? Together, everyone achieves more. It's a team thing. It's a, it's a, who am I becoming? Who am I being? I'm challenging you. If you don't know who you're, who you be, and again, I know that that's bad sounding uh, grammar, but who, who are you becoming? Better grammar. What are the steps you can take once you figure out what, what you're supposed to, who you're supposed to be? If, if we can do that earlier, if we can find out way earlier in our life and just be, step into that empowerment and be and let the chips fall where they may. If people like that, great. If they don't like that, great. You know what? If they don't like it or they don't, I'm not everybody's cup of tea. No, it could be everybody's 10th vodka, <laughs> but I, I'm not everybody's cup of tea. The point is, I, the people that don't connect with me for and that's fine i wasn't they're not they're not my people that doesn't mean i can't have impact on them it just means they're not my people as my vibration rises and as as i'm paying attention and, and lifting my vibration and being who i'm supposed to be it's the weirdest thing people gravitate that are at that vibration that are at that level and it's not in terms of i'm better or worse or that's not, the, that's not the deal. But as I raise my vibration, I attract people at that vibration. And I get other people come into my life. And as I continue to raise my vibration, other people come into my life. And some people fall away. And that's okay. I have to be all right with that. I have to be at peace with that. If I'm becoming who I am meant to be, the right people will be around me. The right people. Not lots of people necessarily. The right people will be around me. And that's what's important. That's being authentically 100% true to yourself. But that's difficult if you don't know who you are or who you were meant to be. What steps can you take for that today? A clear vision and a path. What's your, what's your vision for your life? What's the path? What's the definite major purpose? Who are you wanting to become? And that's a choice. Choose it. Choose it. We have humans have the ability to choose. I can reinvent myself every day if I want to, every minute of every day if I could, if that's what, if that's what I want to do. But a lot of times we abdicate that power. We step out of that power. We go, you know what? I don't have that power. It is what it is. I can't do anything about it. Yes, we can. And we will if we choose to. I want to just say a quick, uh, and, and I'm hoping you're feeling my heart. I'm hoping that, that you're getting where my heartbeat is because it's, it's something that's very, this whole be versus do is a huge, huge thing. I've been on a soapbox with that for the last few weeks in, in my, in my coaching and my other practice, because it, it's something with conversations with people, because I think it's, we get stuck in a, what am I doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? It doesn't matter what I'm doing per se. It matters who I'm being and who I'm becoming. So I'm challenging you find out who you're being and who you want to become. And then have that conversation with people around you. Ask people, hey, who are you becoming? Who are you being? Stop asking what they do. You'll find out what they do. And it'll make more sense once you find out who they're becoming. Way easier to find out. So an, another quick uh, and a shout out for, for these two uh, incredible 
sponsor, founding sponsor partners for me. Um, Kathleen Kat Schwartz is uh, the owner and founder at Compassionate Healing Services. And again, we're really looking forward to the release of her new podcast called Trauma Redefined with Kat and Joe. These two heart-centric folks are friends who share the experience of being complex trauma survivors who will provide a fresh take on how to tackle some of society's most difficult challenges in the mental health space, like suicide prevention, bullying, and so much more. It'll air on the Mental Health News Network in the fall of 2022, so watch for that. And you can reach out to her at Kathleen at chsyoga.com. And then again, my good brother, Jose Escobar, is the founder and CEO of the Entrepreneur's Bookshelf. Check out the Connected Leaders Academy membership to take your business to the next level. It will, trust me. This is the perfect tribe to learn, grow, and connect like never before. The Connected Leaders Academy tribe brings together some of the highest level entrepreneurs from all over the world. Set up a virtual coffee with Jose Escobar today, and you can reach him at www.theentrepreneursbookshelf.com. I really, really appreciate my founding sponsor partners, part of my team, part of the group and the tribe around me that I need to be able to do and be and become who I was meant to be. And I'm helping them become who they were supposed to be and who they are supposed to be. So I appreciate them very, very, very much. We're going to talk in the next in the next uh, section about calling to action. What's the call to action and some ways to get in touch with me. So stay with me. I'm the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville on Inspired Choices Network. Be right back. How much of our daily success relies on our mindset? Anything we are unaware of can still impact our lives. When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Why is the word stigma such a BS misnomer? Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Join the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville, the chief catalyst strategist guide at Jewel International invites you to an enlightening, sometimes shocking discussion. He will be challenging you to explore your own answers to these questions and so many more. This will lead you towards living an abundant, successful life no matter how you define it. Gordon D. Melville is live Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. This is The Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to the long bearded guy at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Hey everybody, welcome back. Thank you for still being with us, being with me. I appreciate it. We want to do a quick thing on call to action in this last few minutes that we got together. I want you to, this is the call to action. You know, write this down. Um, put this someplace so that, that do you remember what we're talking about? Because I believe this is an exercise that will really help you. It really helped me. It gave me clarity. And once we have clarity, it makes it, it, makes it easier, right? What, the, what was that quote? There is much clarity in what the next steps are to execute on once I understand, accept, and believe who I'm supposed to be. Who I'm supposed to be. I got to believe that too. So this is the call to action. Write out on one line in your journal what you do. I'm an electrician. I'm a coach. I'm a police officer. I'm a firefighter. I'm, a, I'm an insurance agent. I'm a, whatever it is you do, write it on one line. Just, just short. What is it? What do you do? What, how do you create income for yourself? What is, what is, what's, your, what's your title? What's your occupation? What do you do every day? And then put a, put a line across. Below that, I want you to write who you wish to become. That will fill up more of the page, way more of the page. Who you are, uh, pardon me, what you do as the top line, and then put a stroke across, and then who are you being? Who do you wish to become? Because it needs to be clear. It needs to be concise. It needs to be something that's written down. It's not something that just stays here. 
because that's just a wish. That's not, a, it's a dream. That's not, that doesn't give you drive and purpose to have it just up here. You need to write it down. Say it out loud. Who is it you want to become? I, I, I want you to, I want you to focus on that and, and, and let me know, reach out Gordon, uh, pardon me. You could do that too, but the long bearded guy at gmail.com is the easiest way to get a hold of me. Send me what you, what you got. Send me a picture of what you wrote down. Well, this is what I do stroke and not stroke through it, just a line under it. And then this is who I wish to become. This is who I'm intent on being. This is who I'm choosing to become because we have the power to do that. Watch for Boxed Inside Out is coming. That's a workshop I do. It'll start September 17th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that's a deeper dive into some tools and strategies to be able to deal with stress and anxiety and depression and all those types of things. It's a four-week session, but but reach out to me at the same at thelongbeardedguy.com uh, the or thelongbeardedguy at gmail.com, email or website. And and that's something that's, it's it's I got to cap it at the first um the first 30 people and if they get more than 30 people which happens all the time we'll set up another class and do it again uh we'll put it on people on a waiting list but but reach out if, if that's of interest to you and and we'll talk to that connect to me directly and and thank you again to so many people more than a thousand more than 1300 people that have reached out to me so far and and had talked about what's been happening and how it's it's impacting how this has been impacting them and and i appreciate that so much please share like and share love what however whatever emotion you want to attach to it and share this this podcast share this tv show share this this radio show get your friends to listen because it's something that i feel we all need uh, my avatar is entrepreneurial men and men in general on a on a higher on a higher level but still everybody cannot have too many tools in their toolbox, cannot have too many strategies. They can't have too many strategies in, in their toolbox, right? They, they just, we just can't. We, the more we can have in a preparation, when that preparation meets the opportunity, we create our own luck. And so making sure we have as many different ways and tools and strategies. So reach out to me as, as much as you want Reach. I, I love getting emails uh, and reach out from people that that are impacted in a positive way. And if you hear something that you don't agree with, I, I, I've got thick skin. I spent 25 years in the car business. Uh, you won't offend me. Reach out. Talk to me. Tell me, hey, you know what? I, I want to challenge this a little bit. I want to challenge this. Uh, can you explain this? Go deeper with this with me. Uh, happy, happy to do it. Love to do that with you. That engagement is what this is all about. This, this whole project and broadcast is, is, to, is to connect and engage with a worldwide audience. Connect to everybody. I want to be able to have a massive, well, 10 million men. And, and as many as that sounds like, I still, uh, you know, Papa is still in the back of my brain is telling me, look, there's more than 8 billion people on the planet. That means there's conceivably more than 4 billion men. 10 million is not the target. 10 million is the jump point. If you have an organization you want me to talk to or that you, that you think some mindset and, and energy and some of these topics we're talking about would be helpful for your group or for your company, let me know. Be happy, happy to, to do that. Um, there, there's ways to do that. So reach out to me to, to get that information. You can reach out at thelongbeardedguy at gmail.com and I will get back to you as quick as I can. Next week, we talk about the 100% ownership cornerstones. That's an interesting one. We'll talk about that then. I want you to make it, make it. You have the power. You have the power. Make it another great week. I, if you haven't been told yet, I love you. Big hugs. Live abundantly and with absolute intention. See you all next week. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for tuning in to The Long Bearded Guy Show. You are appreciated and loved. Gordon D. Melville returns Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, 
and 9 a.m. Pacific on the InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until then, make it another great week, leading with love, powerfully designing, crafting, and living out your positively impactful legacy life you were created for. Big hugs.